gotta do something. Breaking my concentration. Right, come on, go. He's okay. not just a pretty face. Uh, okay. I gotta do my, uh, you know, <laughs> Vanna White or whatever. All right, Here start we over. have, y'all, we are all over the place tonight. It's because we don't have our director. I know, yeah. Jackson, Jackson is in the here. Church event. Okay. Yeah, Jackson's at church and we're over here making drinks. Hey, y'all, hey, Erica and Jason with Time to Shrink. Welcome to our new series, The Keto Speakeasy. We're going to take cocktails that you requested and then turn them into keto version. We're super excited about this. Let's get going, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, Erica and Jason from Time to Shrink. We are coming at you with episode two of our Keto Speakeasy. Tonight's episode is going to be Erica's favorites. Yay. Yay! My favorite cocktails. We're going to share my three favorite cocktails, at least so far, of what we've discovered. I absolutely have always loved a spicy margarita, and Jason has nailed a keto spicy margarita. Yeah, I was going to say, incidentally, these are my three favorite cocktails to make because they're your, your favorite cocktails. Yay! Okay, the next one is a mojito. This one he knocked out of the park too, y'all. Well, we have a couple complications with it, but we'll talk about it. But you're going to love it. And the third one is kind of like my version of an old fashioned with a twist. I need to come up with a name. If y'all think of a name, let me know. But it's basically blackberry and basil simple syrup that I made, a keto simple syrup with bourbon. Yeah, we're just gonna so turn it into an old fashioned. It's like an old fashioned. I told y'all we were gonna dress up for every episode, so let me explain the attire. Jason really didn't follow suit. A t shirt, my favorite. Okay, but. <laughs> If y'all have followed me very long, you probably recognize this shirt. I haven't worn it recently because my mama told me I need to stop wearing it while I'm taping because y'all will think I don't own anything else. But this is my favorite shirt. It's super, super comfy. And I've got my new favorite shorts on. So since it's Erica's favorites, we're just dressing super, super comfy and wearing our favorites. And I guess Jason, that's, I don't know. So before we jump in, we need to talk simple syrups, y'all. Okay, I have been conducting chemistry experiments around here and I still haven't nailed it, nailed it. But this simple syrup here, Swoon Zero Sugar Simple Syrup, is one you can buy. It has the mouth feel of a simple syrup. It's got like the velvety texture. You know how a simple syrup is a little bit thick? Perfect. If you want an infused simple syrup, you need to make it at home. So I've been playing with so many different keto options and I made one with an allulose blend that has allulose and erythritol and some, some gums and different things. And it had the mouth feel and the texture, but then it precipitated out. So it's got all these sugar crystals in it again, but it, it's tasty, but it's not perfect. This one is straight erythritol. So it's one part water to half erythritol where I had been doing one to one and then I added some xanthan gum to it along with the lime and the mint. It precipitated out like crazy and it's not as sweet. We sweetened it with stevia. I, I sweetened it with stevia twice and it's just not right. So all that said to say my favorite simple syrup so far has been with straight allulose. This is my blackberry simple syrup that we're going to use in this bourbon drink but this one has not precipitated out and it is perfect as far as taste, but it doesn't quite have the velvety mouth feel. So I'm still playing, I'm still playing, but that all of that said, these drinks taste like perfection. So let's just jump into it. I'm gonna sit down and let Jason make me some drinks, y'all. All right. Okay, we're making our mojito. We're gonna make it straight in the glass. You don't need anything special for this. What I've already done is I've taken a half a lime and I've just juiced it into the glass itself. We're now going to take about 10 mint leaves. The mint smells so good, y'all. And we're going to dump those in. We're just going to muddle all this up. Now, if we weren't making this keto, of course, there'd be some cane sugar going into this, but... Skipping that step. Skipping that step. So we're just going to muddle this up a little bit. And the simple syrup that we made has right. lime That's and mint flavor I, to it. So Yeah, that I didn't say. But the reason we made the simple syrup is so that I can make it mint flavored and lime flavored. So this is the one you're using. All right, so we're going to take this mojito simple syrup. And like Erica said, it did kind of precipitate out, but it forms little crystals, which actually kind of gives you that cane sugar yeah, granular feel. Yeah, it's almost like rock it. salt. Like it forms little rock salt. And I actually really enjoyed the taste of that in my drink. It was an accident, but kind of a happy accident. She keeps calling it salt. You, you don't want to put any salt in it. So this I was said a, salt? Yeah. 
He said salt. He said it tastes like rock salt. Oh, rock, no, rock candy. <laughs> All right, so we got an ounce of our symbol syrup in there. What do we need next? To two ounces of white rum. Two ounces of white rum. We're gonna go with our Havana Club again, just because it's perfect. Okay, and then you put your ice in and then your sparkling lime water. Right. So you need your ice. All right, let's get our ice. What I wanted to do, y'all, was send him to Sonic for some ice. You know how Sonic has like the perfect ice? But we didn't do that. So what we did was we crushed ice in the Ninja and then I just put it in this Ziploc and then I was just gonna hit it and then pull out from there. Or if you have a bar at your house and you buy one of those makers that makes the perfect ice, you know, like Sonic or like at the hospital, you know the ice at the hospital. All right, and then to finish it off, we are just gonna take some sparkling flavored water this is Kirkland brand, but this is lime flavored. Yeah, any just... lime flavored sparkling water, or you could just use club soda if you wanted. Yeah, we're just so going we for like more the lime. lime. All right, there you go. You got your perfect mojito. Give it a taste. It's so good. Is it good? It is like the most refreshing summer drink, in my opinion. I invited my parents over tonight to taste all these yummy cocktails and let y'all know what they thought. So I'm gonna scoot over and let them come in. This is Jason's mojito. Have you ever had a mojito before? Um, probably not. <laughs> this may be the best one I've ever had. Oh, I, this is just like Hemingway used to drink. <laughs> Tastes good to me. Isn't it refreshing? Like I really like the mojito. You also could drop in a few blackberries in there and when you're muddling and give it a little bit more of a flavor. That's not your favorite. Not your that thing. Would not be my favorite. I don't like them. I don't like them either. I, like them. I, like them. I don't like them, but mom likes pretty. it. I think mom <laughs> it's likes pretty. it. Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a good I summer drink. That. Oh, that's probably my glass when we're done. Yeah, I think oh, you go right. fast on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sip that slowly because we've slow. got another drink for you to try. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Number two, spicy margarita. Dose. All right, we are gonna make this one in our shaker. Spicy margarita was a challenge because I make a good margarita, but it takes so much lime juice, and you know lime juice has all the carbs. So we looked for an alternative. We were getting to the point where the perfect one that he was making still had like seven carbs, which to is nine. seven to nine <laughs> carbs, which is too much for one drink. It's just, drinks two, then, it's know, just way too much for one drink, y'all. Okay. All right, so let's get to making the spicy margarita. So normally what I would do with it is I would use three ounces of lime juice because like that's what a margarita is. It's like, but we're trying to eliminate some of those carbs. So we're only going to use an ounce and a half of okay. lime juice, fresh, fresh lime, lime juice. juice. Don't get the stuff in the bottle, y'all. You will regret it. We've got our lime juice in there. We like our spicy, so I'm going to take four jalapenos, and we use, Erica's, I'm sure you've seen it in meal prep. We've gotten the seeds out of it, and we're going to add that to the lime juice. She's talking about my little tool that takes the seeds out of the inside of the jalapeno. Not the spatulator. Not the spatulator. Her other favorite tool. <laughs> All right, so we've muddled our jalapenos into our lime juice. Now we've got two solutions to make up that other ounce and a half of lime juice. We like... This is my favorite The lemon-lime ice. ice. Sparkling ice. So this, we're going to replace an ounce and a half of lime juice with an ounce and a half of the ice. You want to show them that other candle I'm measuring this? This one? Yeah. The other option you could do is the Zevia Zero Calorie Mixer. There's a lemon lime with bitters. You totally could use this too. It actually tastes it's really true. good as well. Yeah. This is a little pricier, but it's a cleaner option. They're super low in the sparkling ice, but I like the sparkling ice just a tad better flavor wise, but you know, whatever you want to do with that. Yeah. All right. So we've got our liquids and now it's time for our alcohols. We are going to add an ounce and a half of tequila. Two. You said two on Oh, uh, we're going to do two ounces well, of tequila. That's what you said. That's on what like you told me to write down was two ounces. We're going to do two ounces of tequila. And half an ounce of the triple sec. I don't know if y'all saw our first episode. If not, it will be tagged up above and down below. But we made a keto version of triple sec because triple sec is full of sugar. And you want to tell them just real quick yeah, how you real made quick. that? It's brandy. Brandy's an alcohol that doesn't have any carbs in it. We take about four oranges, peel them, zest them, really. You really don't want that white, bitter part of the orange. Put it in a container, and you just have to let it sit for about four weeks. Now, 
we um, accelerated that by putting in a little bit of what do we essential, put in? Oil. essential oils. We did ten, like 10 drops or five mm, drops. I, more like five probably. It, the recipe's down below. Anyway, after about 10 days with the essential oil, you've got what you need. And then you mix it with the swim. With the swim, Equal right. Equal parts Equal of your parts. brandy and the swim. Equal so parts. That was all over the place, but I promise in it's the last below. video. It delicious. All right, so that was a half ounce of the swim. Just to take some of the alcohol. You could do a whole ounce of the triple sec, especially since there aren't any carbs in it, but we do more. half an ounce because there's a lot of alcohol to begin with. We tried a bunch of different ways the recipe we landed on is so, so good. We are now going to salt our margarita glass. We like it spicy, so we're gonna add some of this fresh Jack's habanero lime this, straight to this our stuff, salt. This stuff is amazing. It doesn't just have heat, it's super lime forward. Super lime forward. Lime juice on here. And I just like to keep one of the limes around and... You can either use lime juice or you can use simple syrup to get the outside of your glass wet so that when you put it in the ice, not the ice, the, the salt. salt, it sticks. All right, there so, we go. So, how pretty is that? All right, so now we're just gonna shake up with our ice in here. When you can feel it through the um, shaker, you got it. All right, so you're gonna have to shake some of the habanero lime on top. This is just a little extra touch. We like. This is one of my very, very favorite drinks, y'all. So good. Now, I know my mom's not gonna like this because she doesn't really do spicy. Daddy, do you wanna try this one? Sure. Daddy's in the background trying to figure out how to fix the boat. He's YouTubing everything, trying to figure out what's wrong with the boat. All right, this is our spicy margarita. That's good. Very you like good. that? Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I really, really like that. Can have yeah. it, you like it. Well, let me. I gotta drive home. One more sip. Okay, well you can have a couple sips. <laughs> they do have to drive home. Okay, the number three is blackberry basil bourbon. Old fashioned. Old fashioned. Basil. I need to come up with a name. That's really long. But I was really proud of myself. This is really, really good. How I made this was one cup of water, one and a third cups of allulose. You do it on the stove and you bring it to a simmer and then you let it simmer for around 10 minutes. And in that, I also added blackberries, like a handful of blackberries and a few leaves of basil. And I let that simmer for about 10 minutes with the lid on so it didn't evaporate. Then I took it off and just let it sit till it cooled. Then I poured it in here. It tastes so good. It's so pretty. I strained it so it's just the liquid. And this has been in the fridge for about a week and it's still holding strong. It's really, really tasty. All right, so while she was explaining that, I took some of this, was allulose, and we have it in a little bowl and I just kind of rimmed the top of our glass here. This is just an extra touch we like. Um, it's not necessarily a must do. This it, is- It really adds to it, y'all. This, this is, is super and gold super brown gold. sugar alternative. So he's just putting that down. And then this is Campfire Smoky Sea Salt. Oh my gosh, y'all. a little bit more, come on. This smells so smoky. So smoky. In my opinion, this really, really... You gotta be careful because it's salt, it. right? It but... is salt. It's Campfire Smoky Sea Salt. You can totally skip this step completely, but it just gives it that extra final touch. And we're just rimming our glass. With the allulation, it's almost like you're not really rolling it, you're kind of pressing it in and turning. It's a little bit different than a margarita. Just gives it this really kind of, kind of almost, I don't know, sophisticated look to it up at the top. So there is the glass that we're going to make it in. Uh, this is just a making the glass type of drink. So we're gonna go with an ounce of this. Black Blackberry basil simple syrup. All right, and of course, if this were an old fashioned, we would just be using sugar, but uh, we've got the simple syrup, so we're gonna do that. Then we're going to use, you like bourbon? Basil Hayden. Yeah, you like bourbon, so we're gonna do that. And again, you can make it old fashioned with any kind of alcohol, scotch would be fine here as well too. If you like whiskey, you can do whiskey, but ounce and a half of- It's bourbon, it's a bourbon, bourbon. drink. Bourbon, it's not a bourbon. Well, this one is. It's a bourbon drink, I created it. And we like to garnish it with a blackberry. Oh. I'm gonna give this a little stir. We're not gonna put the ice in a little bit different than the old fat way we would make an old fashioned just because we want to really get that simple syrup and the alcohol mixed together completely for this one. Then we're gonna put our perfect old fashioned ice cube in and garden it, garnish. Garden it. <laughs> and garnish, garnish it. it with our basil. And there you go, blackberry, um, bourbon. Blackberry, basil, bourbon, old fashioned. Which is why we need another name because it's just really long. 
right. Super simple. Mm -hmm. I love this, y'all. I love it so much. You didn't put the bitters in. We didn't put the bitters it's in. It's still really good, but I just realized. I think we've been a hot mess express tonight, y'all. Yeah. It's kind of my brand, though. Right? About five bitters in there. We did not do any pregame drinking either, y'all. We're just yeah, a we're mess. No. All right, there you go, bitters. Just a mess. All right, Daddy. Daddy might like this. One. Yeah, I'm not a bourbon. He likes I love bourbon. bourbon. I would call this the triple B. The triple B. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. I love good. it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. We have more episodes coming at you every Friday of June. So we will see you again soon. Bye y'all. Be blessed.